Caleb Tallman, Team FYN Sports. I'm joined here with Eric Laney, the Murphy Boys head basketball coach. I appreciate you taking some time with us this morning, Coach Laney. Thank you, sir. Uh, we just uh, want to we want to hear about your team. We know uh, you played a big role in the football team, and you can even speak about that a little bit. Uh, so you guys are really just getting started here this week with your full team for the first time. Uh, but go ahead and just tell us who some of your key returners are and who some of your key players are going to be for the Murphy Bulldogs this year. Uh, so we've got a, a really good group of kids uh, this year. Our numbers are not quite as high as they have been in the past, uh, but we have returning from last year, we've got senior Hunter Laney. Um, and then we also have junior Dylan Brown, who will be returning after a, uh, after a good uh, sophomore season with us last year. Um, we're going to be bringing in newcomer Jawan Allen. He's going to play for us this year, so we're excited to have him. And then uh, our, from our JV team last year, who had a really successful season, uh, you bring in Cole Laney, Ty Laney, Will Carringer, Dozer Mashburn, uh, Wyatt Simmons, and then also sophomore, all of that group is juniors. And then sophomore Zach Scogan will be with us. And then also sophomore Dominic Rumler will be with us this year. So we're excited to have a good group of kids. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and uh, we know you're the head man. And everyone knows who you are, I've obviously, as being the head coach. But we know that every good program uh, is made up of a good coaching staff. I'll give you a minute here if you want to share – uh, what other guys and gals may be on your coaching staff, your support staff and such, and give them a little love? Uh, so we're bringing in – so we've had kind of a changing of the guard. Um, Coach Trent Abling has been with me for the past four years, uh, and he's not going to be rejoining us this year. And then also Heath Curtis, who just uh, who just started his uh, – just started his family with a new baby, so he's going to take the season off. He's going to be here and around, but he's not going to be a consistent figure in practice. Uh, so new additions will be um, our middle school coach for the past, well, for many years is going to be Andrew Scogan. So he's going to be helping with, um, helping at the varsity and JV level. And then also a former player uh, of ours in Dawson Grizzle. He's going to be taking the head role as our JV coach and then also uh, playing a big role in our varsity program as well. Good deal. Good deal. Uh, and just uh, we know and you can and share a little bit about it because um, obviously, y'all had a very successful football season over at Murphy, and a lot of your players uh, played both sports. Uh, so you, you can tell us, uh, one, you know, how getting started a little late affected y'all, uh, and then also kind of share this uh, with that in mind, what some of your team goals are and, and what you guys are hoping to accomplish this season. I mean, you know, our, our – well, we, we have so many guys that play multiple sports, you know, and especially in the 1A division anyway, but especially here at Murphy High School, we've got, we've been in the gym with our non-football players. Um, you know, there's basically of our varsity group and then some of our JV group, you're looking at probably anywhere from four to six guys that are consistent in the gym, um, just getting shots up, you know, while we're practicing football. And then also, you know, for us, and doing both, I understand the hardship on these kids. You know, it's hard when you're trying to make a run in the playoffs and you're trying to mitigate risk of having them continue to be, you know, continue to be available to play uh, on Friday night. And then also the distraction of having them in the gym on, you know, during the course of the week. So we try to limit those distractions. So we try to, you know, allow them to finish their run in the playoffs. And then once that playoff run is over, then we begin basketball season. So, as of right now, we've had four practice sessions. We'll have another practice session today, and then we will have our first game with Fannin County tomorrow. So, you know, it's the same way, you know, every year uh, and has been this way for years and years, you know, in the past. It's just we're going to get started late, and then as we get started late, you know, once we become a, a basketball team instead of a football team, then we're going to try to take it day by day, uh, try to get a little bit better every day at practice, and then – Hopefully, you know, throughout what we would consider to be semi preseason, you know, with non conference games, is learn how to, you know, how to play together, create some chemistry, and then hopefully, you know, peak at the right time, um, you know, and allow us to have a successful run through basketball season. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's something you guys did last year. 
Uh, I think a lot of people, probably not you, but I think some other folks were surprised that y'all were able uh, to finish second last year and slip into the playoffs in a year where only half the number of teams made the playoffs. Uh, but you guys do pet play in a really tough conference. Uh, there's a lot of parity this year, it seems like. Share your thoughts uh, with us on uh, what, what, how you guys stack up and where, and where you think some of the rest of the teams in the conference might fall this year inside the Smoky Mountain Conference. Well, I mean, I think it's hard in any given, you know, in any given year when you're talking about Smoky Mountain Conference boys basketball to just make a list and rank teams one through, you know, one through six. Uh, because every team that you play in the Smoky Mountain Conference is, it depends on matchups. And it depends, like, I know in the past there are certain teams that I match up really, really well with and know that we can compete with and in certain teams that we struggle to match up with. And that changes – that changes from year to year. So for us, we go into it saying, you know, depending on the team and their athleticism and their size and what their strong, you know, what their strengths are and then also what their weaknesses are is depending on how we game plan that that team. And then hopefully, you know, with our performance and our game plan allows us to be successful. Um, and and it, it could change. You know, we play every team. So you, you don't do a ton of scouting, you know, by the time you see that or when you see the, you know, your – your first conference conference matchup of the year. You've not done a ton of scouting. You show up. You got your, you've got what you do, and you try to do that well. And then by the time you see them in a second matchup, you know you get a little bit better scouting report, and you can kind of game plan a little bit better as you see them in the second round. Um, you know, but again, every every team is very different in the Smoky Mountain Conference. And this year, I think you're going to see a ton of athleticism throughout the conference. Um, and you got some quality basketball players, and you got quality athletes, and so it should make for an extremely fun, uh, fun year. And you know, the blessing of this year is you're not playing 14 games. You get the the kids get an opportunity to get back on the floor for for a full season with minimal regulations and no mask. And so, you know, we as a as a team and as a staff and as a school, we're extremely excited to get back into some normalcy with basketball season. Yeah, absolutely. I think. Uh... No one's more excited than to hear us at Team FY and Sports to be able to get to cover a full season of all our local area teams. And, of course, uh, you know, as a reporter, I got to be in the gym a lot last year, but it, it was so odd to not have fans. And it's, it's a, really a blessing to be able to have fans back this year and have full crowds uh, supporting our local teams. Uh, but my last question is for you, Coach. Uh, we, we know about your conference schedule. We know about the conference teams. But go ahead just for the fans watching this. Uh, highlight some – I know you mentioned the fanning game, but highlight some of the key games uh, that make up your non-conference schedule. And then if y'all are playing in any Christmas tournaments and such, that way people know how to – where to go and how to find some good games to watch Murphy basketball. Uh, I mean, our non-conference schedule, we're actually going to add in uh, – so you play fanning. We end up playing uh, Hawassi Dam, which is always, a, is, is always a battle for us, you know, being inside the county. Uh, we're going to have a uh, have two games with Inca High School this year. You're going to have uh, two games with Teleco Plains, uh, and so those are going to be you know those are going to be good matchups in preparation for us to get into conference play. Um, you know we're going to also see a Highlands, which is um, you know Coach Lamb does a really good job uh, up there, and uh, that's always a really disciplined team that we're going to see. So you see multiple variations of different styles of play. Um, but all of those games, you know, hopefully in preparation or for preparation for us to be, you know, kind of hitting on all cylinders once we get to, you know, conference play. But as far as, you know, that's our that's our kind of non-conference play. But again, I think your conference play in itself is going to be extremely competitive throughout the year. I, I, again, it just depends on who you see on any given day and how we may you know how they match up with us and how we match up with them. Absolutely. Well, Coach, I really appreciate you taking some time with us. We wish you the best of luck on your season, uh, and we look forward to hopefully getting to talk to you a couple more times throughout the season uh, and just checking in to see how your team's doing. Sounds great. We appreciate it. Have a good one.